So, 11 divided by 60 times. Good day everyone. So, in this video, uh, we are going to find the uh, relative frequencies. Uh, less than cumulative frequency and greater than cumulative frequency. So, given that distribution or frequency distribution. So, una, we are going to find first the relative frequency of uh, this. So, by the way, ang relative frequency, uh, it shows the proportion or the percent of the cases in each class of the frequency distribution. So, this is obtained by or using the formula of the relative frequency is equal to the absolute frequency all over the total frequency times 100. Okay, so ito yung uh, percentage ng bawat the absolute uh, frequencies of the class. Okay, so by the way, so ito yung mga absolute frequencies natin, okay, and then yung mga classes. Okay, so alimbawa, itong 10 to 19 class, ang corresponding absolute frequency niya ay 3. Okay, so kunin natin yung relative frequency niya. So, meron tayong formula na kung saan para makuha yung relative frequency. So, absolute frequency, halimbawa itong sa 10 to 19 na class, so 3. Okay. And divided by the total number of the frequencies. By the way, i-add nyo lang ito muna. So, i-add natin ito. Kapag i-add natin yan, that's equal to Okay, so 60. So 3 plus 5 plus 11 plus 19 plus 14 plus 6 plus 2 is equal to 60. Therefore, ang n natin, yung total number of frequency is 60. Okay, so kunin na natin ang sa so first class, yung, which is yung absolute frequency niya ay 3. So 3, so gam gamit tayo ng calculator, we have 3, 3, so, divided by yung total number of frequency, which is 60, and then times 100. Okay, so 5. Okay, next, yung second class, which is ang absolute frequency niya ay 5. So, 5 divided by the total number of frequency, which is 60, then times 100. So, naman din ganyan, and then equal. Okay, so 25 over 3 or 8.33. So, pwede naman natin i-round off, so 8.33%. Sunod yung 11, absolute frequency. So, 11 divided by 60 times 100. Okay, so eighteen point thirty three percent. Okay, so ganyan lang siya. Hanggang doon sa baba. Okay, so nakuha na natin lahat yung relative frequencies ng bawat uh, absolute uh, frequencies. Then, uh, dapat, dapat ito siya ay mag-equal ng 100. So, i-add nyo lang ito lahat, 5 plus 8.33 plus 18.33 plus 31.67 plus 23.33 plus 10 point, or 10 plus 3.33. So, kapag i-add nyo siya lahat, ang sagot niya ay 99.99% point, uh, or 100%. Ayan, so, again, dapat kapag uh, i-add nyo yung relative frequencies, dapat 100% siya. So, 99.99%, that's 100% pa rin. Okay, so, na kukunin natin is yung less than cumulative frequency. Okay, yung less than cumulative frequency. So, ang pagkuha ng less than cumulative frequency ay uh, just simply add the add the absolute frequency or the absolute uh, 
frequencies of the classes starting from the lowest okay from the lowest class to the highest class okay so kung halimbawa dito kung mapapansin natin yung sa classes natin ang lowest class natin ay yung 10 to 19 okay with corresponding absolute, absolute frequency na 3 okay so okay so again sa cumulative frequency less than or less than cumulative frequency uh, we are going to add the absolute frequencies of the class starting from the lowest to highest so ang lowest class natin ay 10 to 19 ang corresponding uh, frequency niya ay 3 so kunin natin yung 3 so we have 3 yan and then i-add natin pababa doon sa mga frequency so 3 plus 5 is equal to 8 Okay, sunod, uh, 8 plus 11 is equal to 19. Okay, sunod, 19. So, 19 plus 19 is equal to 38. Okay, so now, 38 plus 14 is equal to 52. Okay, so now, 52, okay, 52 plus 6 is equal to 58. So now, 58 plus 2 is equal to 60. Ayan. So, dapat yung huli, yung pinakahuli ay mag-equal doon sa total number of the frequencies. Okay? So, kasi kung hindi siya mag-total ng 60 dyan sa pinakahuli, therefore, may something wrong sa pag-compute uh, uh, or pag-add mo. Okay? Sunod so, yung greater than cumulative frequency. Okay? So, pagkuha naman ng cumulative frequency greater than or greater than cumulative frequency so kabaliktaran ng less than cumulative frequency so makuha, makukuha yan by adding the absolute frequencies of the class starting from the highest kasi greater than cumulative frequency so starting from the highest to the uh, lowest okay so ngayon ang ang scores or yung classes natin ang scores na yun, yung classes Hanap, tingnan natin kung saan yung highest class. So, kung makikita natin ang highest class natin ay 70 to 79. Okay? So, since 70 to 79, ang corresponding uh, frequency niya ay 2. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nito tayo mag-start. So, kunin natin yung 2. So, patas naman tayo. Okay? Sunod, 2 plus 6 is equal to 8. Okay, so nod, 8 plus 14 is equal to, okay, 22. So nod, 22 uh, plus 19 is equal to 41. Okay, sunod, uh, 41 plus 11 would be 52. Okay, 52. Sunod, 52 uh, plus 5, 57. Okay. 57 plus 3, plus 3 would be 60. Okay? So, yan. So, ganyan ang pagkuha ng uh, greater than cumulative frequency. So, ngayon na nakuha na natin yung relative frequency or yung proportion or yung percent ng uh, absolute frequencies and nakuha din natin yung cumulative uh, or less than cumulative frequency which is ito na siya and yung greater than cumulative frequency ito na siya.
Okay? So, ulitin ko. Sa pagkuha ng lesson cumulative frequency, uh, makukuha lang siya by adding the absolute frequencies of the class starting from the lowest class. Okay? So, dito yung corresponding uh, frequency niya. Sa greater than naman, uh, makuha lang siya by adding the uh, absolute frequency starting from the highest. So, ito, highest. Highest class. So, dito yung corresponding frequency niya. So, dyan mag-start. Pataas. Okay? So, hoping na naintindihan. At, uh, that would be all. Uh, thank you.